Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome to our special guest, uh, Governor-elect Pritzker, and my friend, uh, Juliana Stratton. Uh, congratulations to all of my colleagues, especially to the 36 new members that are making up the freshman class. I want you to know that I stand here today with an open mind and an open heart that we can work on what we have in common to build a better Illinois together. To all of you in the audience, especially my husband, my family, and my friends that are here with us today, thank you. Thank you for all that you do to support us and to help us. None of us sitting up here today would be here without all of you. Without your love and, let's talk about it, your patience. Today, we collectively have an opportunity to change Illinois for the better. I am honored to start that change with the nomination of Jim Durkin as our next Speaker of the House of Representatives. Jim is a kind yet fierce leader who advocates for our families, for our most vulnerable, for our businesses, and for the overall success of Illinois. I first met Leader Durkin a few years ago when I was thinking about running for the House seat. Just a small town girl in the middle of my first term as mayor of Savannah, Illinois, and very new to the world of politics, especially Illinois politics. But one thing I knew for sure, I was not happy with the direction the state was headed. I was raised by strong, hardworking women who often said, put up or shut up. So here I am, working for change, not only for my hometown of Savannah or District 71, but for all of you. As a downstate member, the population of my district has been dwindling because the rural economy has been declining. Children are not returning to their hometowns to work and to raise their families. Families are being socially and financially and geographically torn apart because of the state of our state. One thing I've learned in my first term, it is all so unnecessary. We have a responsibility to do better. We need growth, and in order to grow, we need to change how we've been doing the business of Illinois over the last four decades. We all know the process here to get challenging, so challenging for some of us more than others. And as we get older, you have to wonder, is it really worth it? But we have to do things that not only we want to do, that, but we need to do that we feel is important to make a difference. So we have to ask ourselves, can one person honestly make change? Can one person honestly make a difference? Yes. The answer is yes. I have watched Leader Durkin on the House floor take member after member sometimes from both sides of the aisle into his office to discuss an issue. He listens. He looks for solutions, and he has proven that he will work with, through both sides of an issue to find a compromise that will not diminish anyone's values. Positions of re, uh, leadership require individuals that are special, and let me tell you, Jim is special. He is that individual. Over the last four years, he has had to lead our caucus through some very volatile times. He has led our caucus with strength and with purpose, while still accommodating our regional and our personal differences. Sometimes our votes differ and we disagree, sometimes more often <laughs> than we like, but never once have I questioned his loyalty to his district, to his family, and to me and to my family. Today, we have an opportunity that we can unite the House of Representatives and the people of Illinois by voting against the status quo. Let us prove to the people of Illinois what, that we, what we want and we can do that with our actions. Please join me today and vote for Jim Durkin to be the next Speaker of the House of Representatives of the 101st General Assembly. Thank you.